Welcome back, beautiful people. We are back on the ladder. As I said, if you missed the last video or two. Um, I probably won't be uploading daily. I'm going to play around with that and see what happens. Um, maybe every other day. And then uh, have it be a long video. I'm not sure though. We'll see. I'm not sure whether I'll make it like this one hour video. Um, because I have some things to prepare and... You know, I like recording, but I don't think my audience, I don't, I just don't think it's necessary any longer for me to, to put out a video every single day um, because I'm branching out as far as like the style of content and the, the areas of so streaming, um, the newsletter and with the course, the free courses that are being prepared. Just it's a lot of content and um will save the actual channel for um, some some laddering and whatnot. So um, still getting adjusted to things. As I scan, I see a lot of ground weeks. Um, I'm using a pretty weird team. Shout out to Storm Zone. Uh, I left when this came out. Oh, this is fast. Let's see. What could happen here? Let's find out. I'm not even gonna over complicate this. Is booster? I mean, it could have uh, could have um, an electric move, but as an electric move, I lose my developer immediately. But if it's just some mindless dude, I don't want to switch. Um, <clears throat> when I have all the the edge here, this is another example of that. Watch him swords ass. Forfeits here. She's too embarrassed. Let's see if we're dealing with a warrior or a wuss. There we go. So he was a wuss. He wasn't a real warrior. A real warrior fights to the end. He was a lightweight. He was a mental lightweight, my friends. Okay. I'm gonna do this very basically. Dragon resists. Two. Ghost resists. Two. Three. Okay. And it's not picking up any KO ghosts, it's just a dragon meteor. Rikomichia is better. A tusk fighting resists. Ooh, two. Oh, really? This doesn't count. One, two. Immunity. No. I'm a choice card tusk, apparently, so. That's what I meant by that. Tinkerton. Very interesting. Useful though. Very fast. Uh, Pelipper water resist too. This is very dangerous for, for him. Um, dark resist. Three. Water resist that are reliable. After rocks, zero. Um, Terra poison. Did he Terra types of this or did he just... I'll change it afterwards. Will be the. I mean, he's very rain susceptible. Um, that's a little samurai. If he mindless samurats, if he has knock, it'd be annoying, but I mean, he's gonna ceaseless edge anyway. And I want the advantage. I don't want. This doesn't have any defense. Um, actually, this is. If he. Mm, no, I'm gonna take. Oh, nah, I'm a natch, I'm a Pelipper, so I won't get to the kill. I have no HP Vs. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I gotta change this team a little bit. This is wild. A little too wild for your boy. They're worth. My just my thing is just if I'm gonna get two a kill by Cesar's Edge. Um because I can't revenge kill this very easily without going to Manaphy. Um, He's banded. 
which means that I, I could have um, great pretty sure he's banded there's no way you're one-shotting Pelipper with a crit so that means that the u-turn would have allowed me okay that have been actually in a phenomenal spot after finding out he's banded based on the ceaseless edge damage now my Pelipper is gone completely splendid splendid Isn't that wonderful? He's not banded. Pelipper gets one shot by a fucking samurai? That was wrong. Really not banded. Sash. Wow, Sash KOs me. This shit took so much value from me. Not even funny. Okay. Spin here would be obvious. I'm just a spinner. They forced a Terra. I've lost. That's a good. This is a good learning lesson game, though. He doesn't know I'm scarfed. It'd be better if I wasn't scarfed in this matchup. Though scarf can win me the game. I could headlong rush sweep him if I get rid of his landers. That'd be foolish. I haven't lost, but it's not looking. is what I mean. I wouldn't have gone moth directly. Actually really bad. This is infiltrator plus. Issue is that the roaring moon can come in after I KO this. Very well. I just don't want a roaring moon coming in. He might still go it because it'll survive. If I get a crit, man, I got him. I don't have U-turn on this one. The Dazzling Gleam sub moth. That's fascinating. As I said, it's not over yet technically. Because mana fee problem is the rain turns. My mana fee doesn't have any. Oh, interesting. It's not. Um... Shadow Ball is here. It worth pitching this out. Add one more turn of rain. It's a shadow ball, so my tusk would have gotten crit there. Add one more turn of rain. This would be the wave. Oh, he scarfed him. What I should have done here was gone to. Mm. Yeah, what I should have done here is probably gone to Susk. But he'd know I'm scarfed. Yeah, I don't think I can win. My only bet would be to somehow KO this gold angle in the rain. Oh, it's not Scar. So hopefully he's weak. Yeah. Yeah. And then with the um I might have a shot actually. The Roaring Moons. I'll eat. Oh what? What just happened? Why did I just outspeed a Roaring Moon? I just won. You look at that. I'm pretty sure Gambit is getting one shot by a uh, Roaring Moon. Or if it's stronger. Well, even if it doesn't, I spin or sleep. Well, I I'd be very shocked if the, uh, the Gambit survived this. Yeah. Plus three. Um, plus three Surf. That's no joke. Would you look at that? The Roaring Moon. I actually could have still won. The Roaring Moon got an attack boost. Damn, I lost that much points in Decade. I need to get these points up. Remember that live where we were gonna hit uh, fucking 1800? And game said no. Was that the live where I... No, that wasn't the live where we... Was that the tilt live? But, uh, get some points back. We're not getting points back. Let's 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 get some. Uh, played a few games off line. is not a ton, but not with this account. But you know, a different account. But the account is like in the fourteen hundreds. So I wasn't really getting any real data. I have to like toilet that that um, account up to. Uh, toilet means playing on the toilet. 
told at that point that'll rank up to 1800 so I can get a better idea of what the meta is because as I scan I can people still using banded or boom you know so I'm getting a better idea now of, you know I've seen blue and gold angle scarf I don't know what his other gold angle is the guy that we just faced but um I'm glad I tail glowed so I'm like it must be scarfed I guess he could have been uh what's that well uh, there's what's that item called with cover cloak when that was the thing uh so as we assess here um halucha is pretty problematic if it gets the boost and i should have changed the sets on these i forgot um it's fucking cool fish it's done nothing Hmm, she gets on Hammer King are actually pretty good. Especially because now I can, um, well, he just gave me, uh, what's it called? What's that, that thing called? Where's he went, Halucha? Oh, he has Encore. Okay. Okay. Okay, champ. Um, not 100%. And my Terra types are so useful. Um, uh, not a hundred on whether or not Manaphy will take an acrobatics. I guess I could have him CC. What would I need to use for him to CC? I have no fucking flying resist, so he has no reason to ever close combat. Um, This is actually a pretty foolish setup on his part. If I was a normal Pelipper, he couldn't kill this. And I could just hurricane KO him. So in any other situation, this is actually pretty stupid. But um, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Uh, I. But this is a fucking what seventeen hundred? Yeah. So he's not thinking about short term versus long term. Um, if fucking crit, what's his face could kill me? I'm definitely not here. I need to change the sets on this though. Um. And then we'll think a ton. So let me think about how do I intend to win the game after I, I deal with this. Uh, he's pretty fucking great to squeak. This shit is the, the weakest thing. The rest are straight. Okay, oh, Terra goes Encore on the CC and then put him to dirt. Even if he were to go for something other than... Um, Oh, what? The acrobatics there. Is Terra goes normal? Oh, let's find out if Manaphy can take that. What's Manaphy end up eating? Oh, wow. Yeah. I need to change this thing. I'm pretty sure if Manaphy died there, Tinkatama would have died. Um, that's a good lesson there. But as I said, I needed the... The, the play wasn't good given the data. This is one of those interesting situations where... I mean, we go over this in the Art of War, actually. Because um, this might be valuable for other people. So, whenever you're in a Mons game, for example, that Halucha, he sets up turn one with no data of anything else. If I was just a regular Pelipper, because he doesn't know, I'm assuming that, unless he knows my team, which I doubt, if I was just a regular ass fucking Pelipper, he would have lost his Halucha, and the most he'd have gotten was some damage on my Pelipper. Which is not an ideal trade-off, right? It just so happened that the structure of my team, which he doesn't know ahead of time, which is what makes it a poor decision. The structure of this particular team has no defensive backbone. Nothing on the team has any kind of defense, right? And so he might go into that being like, oh, well, especially with the, the Terror Ghost. Oh, I predicted it to Terror Ghost. Therefore, it was, a, it was an optimal play or it swept. So therefore, it was an optimal play. But that lack of long-term thought process is the exact reason you'll never get out of the 1700 or go back and forth there because you're going let me just set up and see what happens you're not getting to unless your plan is to just baffle around in the 16 1700 but if the aim is to actually go beyond that point right to actually go to places where you are competing with the best of the bit like you can never just fucking mindlessly set up like that without any data on the on the opponent's team um, 
but that's on me for not changing the sets because we just talked about this i'm like i need to change the sets what's this good speed here because the special attack was actually pretty useful if i'm gonna go slower speed i just need a bit more to especially with a rest mana fee set um I don't know the relevant enough speed theory. Uh, I'll just play the game in a way where this doesn't end up mattering. Um, I don't want the bulk. I'd rather for cases like that. Though, with the Pelipper defense boost, because you can see in both cases, what, what was the, the situation before? It was Pelipper versus something else. Um, and the defense not having the, the samurai right and not having the defense ended up um, biting me in the ass uh, this quillfish has done nothing I want this to be terror water all right dragapult thunder I like you turn on this over thunder so let's let's see how this goes this modification um, because I nothing irks me more than a poor decision playing off, playing off because of the nature of of the squad, not because there was something you should have done that you didn't do. Um, but now I know Encore was good, brother. Good brother. Now I know Encore Hollow Tree exists. I didn't expect that, so that fucked me. But even if Encore existed, my best play was to stand on Encore, and my Pelipper would have been enough to fucking put bro in the dirt so um mana fees wall by toxic oh good in fact toxic wall is my entire team because toxic you you know us kids are saying i might not be able to win this game honestly if that's the case what can i do to win this i think i need to beat down his fucking uh I mean, do I have knock? Actually, knock on the picks would be useful. Or EV light chance, is that relevant to me? He's gonna do some scum strats like underway. If it's EV light relevant to me, this doesn't get toxic. And rocks don't matter. It doesn't have spin block. Yeah. That's, that's useful data. I didn't want to show him knock off, honestly. Um. That's useful data though. Can't believe I even have to move Thunder Wave on this. Thunder would be useful here. I just took his shit off though. <laughs> Wonder what this is gonna do. Toxic. Interesting vision. Why would you go hide your apple on me? I don't get this. Isn't this walled by me? Is there am I missing something? Or did he just I have to T wave this for later on with the crunch shenanigans. I oh, no sir. Oh, okay. Very interesting. This is actually phenomenal positioning. Um Specifically, the amount of health it has. So it has heavy duty boots, it seems. Um, I keep forgetting this shit is not a water type, so I don't resist surf. Okay, perfect. I'm a poison type, so you should fear me. Even if he doesn't fear me. Um, so heavy duty boots, unless he's gonna terror or some shit. But then he'd also have to. What the, oh, it actually must be that. So I could have killed him with gunk shot there, and he just fickle beams. So I'm guessing bro might be new to this because the plays are heavily questionable like the questionableness of his plays are very high like what what was that brother brother why would Moltres ever be the player there my guy brother this might have knock actually this might not have been a good play so doesn't fear Pult which doesn't have good switches for I don't have roost all right, so I 
should I should really pay attention to these themes. That's that's on me. I literally just I've never seen a roostless Pelipper, so you know I just didn't think it through. Okay. I want the picks in. Okay, it's boots picked. Just need him to think in the short term. But I, this is this is a very hard game for me to win. Um This thing has a regenerator, how oh, cool. Kinda interesting. Oh, this shit gets earth power? Interesting. Okay. The picks might not have haze. Ugh. This is where the um, thunder would be so clutch. I know he's gonna just go for a um, uh, painful bunker. Actually, that's useful to see, but still kind of. Yeah, I think I think I can win then. I'm showing vehicle. I wouldn't have shown painful bunker there. I don't think it'll end up mattering. Um, very well, which means he can't. Um, once my mana fee sets up, there's nothing you can do. Especially because I'm bulky. You can't touch mana fee. Okay, that's useful. Um, I want my rain up then. So that data. Okay, you might have just found a way out of this. Very useful data. I would not have been full bunkered there. Well, I guess if you can't. I'm be man if you're like figuring okay well I'll just fucking just do some shit and um, it doesn't really matter so let's get rid of the t-spikes first now he's gonna surf I go Pelly and hard manny and tail glow and let the bloodbath begin because I can spin as well plus the mana fees the toxic spikes doesn't matter in mana fees case um, oh yes toxic what the fuck Bro, is, is this normal? Or is this what we do in the day? And so him losing the EVL is actually a really big deal. Uh huh. The chance he has, has been evaporated. Uh. Yeah, let's get rid of this shit. Poison. Okay. Pretty sure he's going for a Giga Drain though. Yeah. This should not survive. What is this? Is this a Soul Vest? There's no way. Okay. I was about to say, I don't know what that shit is, so give me if I'm like. Hmm. Do I risk this? He's terrored. I mean, nobody runs life orb in Amorous. What do I do here? Let me look through this. What does he have left? Tusk. I'll lose mana if I can't win. But he's just in a desperate straight. He wanted the damage. So he can have a shot. Substitute. Okay. Alluring voice goes through sub. That was a waste. Yeah. That's over. Um, I showed him alluring voice. I don't think he thought that through. I mean, clearly didn't think it through, but I don't think he thought about the, the side effects of. Yeah, I figured. It's all good. Nah, it's not a nasty team, bro. Shit is trash, but it's all good. We're improving. Nah, your team, def your team was nasty, bro. Your team was something diabolical, something created in the most evil dungeon on the planet. But I respect it because that's what Mons is about, right? Some we either win with tactics or strategy. 
meaning team or skill. And um, you went more on the team side. Um, um, oh, it's spooky is ladder tour run. Okay, well, since he's low enough on the ladder, we'll play this properly. Spooky was a 13 year old from the academy that within a week using the principles actually from the free video series and no one ever watches uh got from bottom of the ladder new 1100 to high 1800 in a week like six days to be precise so shout outs to him he's, he's come a long way in such a short span of time okay we're gonna uh see what we can do with this mana fee here excuse me i think it has a lot of potential this Tinkaton has a lot of potential as well, particularly versus the Roaring Moon. If I keep the balloon intact, uh, it's very weak to ground, so if I can learn to destroy the lander, so give me the lander, it's going to be a blessing. Um, this is the pellet, the, the Quillfish is actually an amazing matchup uh, versus his team. I'm poisoned, I'm north neutral to fairy. Uh, Spooky should know enough. Crunch is a nice neutral play. Um, what's it called? Gong shot or a poison jab would knock him out. But the crunch damage does matter because it's going to be important later on for mana fee. So this is a mid value play. So this is interesting, right? Because somebody watching this would say like, oh, Jam, are you predicting the landers? To some degree, but that's not why I'm crunching here. Because if that's the case, I just go for liquidation. I get more value out of it. And a potential to it, Kale. Um, but the core reason wasn't because of the landers. While that's important, it wasn't that wasn't the core reason. Though if the landers goes away, my choice car um headlong rusher goes a long way, right? So it, it does matter. I'm not saying that. Um Yeah, I figured. But this isn't about prediction. So let me slow it back down. From a value trade standpoint, the the um what am i trying to say the primarina getting damaged is a huge play point of leverage for me let me see 309 um outrage oh interesting do i have a fairy type under developer almost dying is a big deal i'm not pleased with that I didn't outrage. Developer almost dying is a big deal. Um, uh, it's annoying. Eat fresh. Very interesting. All right. So we CC here. Now he knows I'm Scarf Tusk, which I didn't want to unveil. Because now he's feel confident with the Lando. But, uh, if that's the case, I'll try to take a on from him from here. Um, Cause I have to up this a bit. And now I can liquidation straight up. Mm, is it better to liquidation or better to crunch? Regardless of what he does. Because my end game is, well, he can't lose the landers. But I'm thinking liquidation is best anyway because it's neutral versus gambit in the rain yeah liquidation is better if you were to go primarina two liquidations and a prim is fine um but i don't want him to to go gambit on a crunch gambit's a little problematic um and i need to spin and he knows that because i need well, i don't need the rain but i do want the rain the rain gives me a lot of power so gives up Lando, which does open up the headlong rusher big time. I didn't think he would give up the landers there. Um, Tinkaton in the, so the liquidation means he can't go Moth, he can't go. Um, interesting, I did not expect Roaring Moon. What do I wanna do here? I got a couple options. I wanna be mindful of the Prim. Cause I can't, the only way I can kill the Primarina is with Gunk Shot in one go. And that depends on me hitting. 
That could go hard Tinkoton because he knows the waste of time where I could just decide, okay, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm not getting rid of the hazards. I don't think I am, so. But I've also seen these run Terra Ground. So what if I can't Thunder Wave this shit and this Terra Ground? That would be tough. A tough day. So I'm not gonna keep the rain, it's evident. So let me find out what these things do now. Because otherwise, if it's Terra Ground, then my play here would be the Encore. If it's, let me think, Encore. Knock off. Okay. So it knocks, it does 55. Gigaton means I don't have to Draco. Or I could just Ice Spinner. I could do whatever I want with it. But, um. Oh, what do I want to do here? Drunk, Spitter. Nox, ensure any KOs that I'm missing at the moment. And how important is this Tinkaton? All these complicated questions. Uh, Acro would make the most sense. I'm just debating whether or not it matters after this. If I go Tusk, Headlong Rush. If I go a Headlong Rush and I'm staring down what? Earthquake. Um, let's see. I could go Manaphy here and kill this, uh, which would make me stare down Primarina, or I could go Raid Tusk, Headlong Rush. I mean, I'm staring down Primarina too. I could go Dragapult. U turn might not kill this. Okay, so let's go Manny in a luring voice. Um, what's the item on this? This is probably AV. Okay. Hmm. That's a little more than I expected. Oh, that does nothing. But I need the damage for my great tusk. But I probably could have gone about this a different way. Um, balloon, interesting. Hmm, I see, I see. So rocks would have been useful, actually. Hmm, would have been more useful? Yeah. My knowledge on the meta is gonna bite me here. Maybe not, maybe not. Terra Ghost, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, that's, that's, this game, man. Terra Ghost. Because mm. now he just kowtows, yeah. Okay, so that's useful data. Uh, all right, so Terra goes Gambit. So that's one of the. That's a good case of of why the knowledge is so critical, right? Because particularly when it comes to end games. If you don't know what problem you're supposed to be solving for, it's very hard to know what piece you're going to be saving. So I don't mind the loss from that standpoint, because then that can't work twice. Now it's within the knowledge bank of like, okay, Air Balloon Gambit, Terror Ghost um, as well. So I'm guessing they use that as a means to deal with, um, what's his face? To deal with um, Tusk situations. Uh, 
The Primarina is AV. That's also a thing. I wasn't sure if that was standard or if it was just a one-off. Well, well, we can see. Maybe it is because I I think the only AV ones I've seen are the ones we used. I don't recall ever seeing an AV one. So he was AV and that ended up biting us. So if I, if, if I knew he was AV, I would have gone to... The Gigaton Hammer just didn't do enough, honestly. Because uh, what I needed was a situation where... No, uh, that wouldn't work either. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like looking at my team, the only thing that can beat an AV Primarina is the, the, um, the Quillfish and that's unreliable. So I don't think anything I'd done, unless I could have gotten him to give me a big hit on his Primarina. Uh, yeah, but either way. Uh, tail Glow. Very similar situation here. Very defensively weak against Primarina, and I can't do much offensively versus it. Uh, but coupon bound. I think it's unworth a switch. It's fast enough. If he, if he, what's that move called? Hyperspace Furious. So be it. Quillfish is an option as well. Quillfish actually. Mm, is it worth keeping my air balloon to take damage on Quillfish? Because I could also U-turn, but I don't know if these things run Scarf. And um, that would put me in a bind. Plus, this allows me to go for uh, Stealth Rocks immediately. Okay, so he's probably not Scarf. I mean, he gets the U-turn here. I don't care about keeping my stealth rocks. Okay, this is great. This is great. Because now I have all the control. Because he has to go to um, Raging Bolt or Scissor. I bluff the um, Flamethrower or scare the Raging Bolt. Or he does the, the, morph, the most foolish of all plays which is staying in stealth rocks so av must be the common set then because this is av too okay so that's just data i'll use for later so i have to play every game with the assumption that primarina is av and now and then learn the roles because i don't think primarina was even in the game or ou when i left if it was in the game it definitely was not nobody was using this shit so i'm actually in a not too bad a position i could uh i could uh Terra Shadow Ball, but the, the the Tail Glow mana is too fucking good. All I need to do is Lord of Scizor. Plus, the, the terror, uh, terror Astralizing here is not um, that important. It's not that like, necessary at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go to my fairy counter called um, Primarina. Sparkling Auras, which is I don't think was worth the risk considering if I stay into Shadow Ball or Terra to Shadow. Unless you're like, okay, well, he's gonna Terra to Shadow, I wouldn't waste Bolt. But the little bit of damage from the Sparkling, you don't, your your team is very good versus this Pokemon. So there's no reason to kind of, kind of overcompensate for that, just to predict to predict. I made a post on this yesterday. So because he did that, I'm not too sure if I. I trust his judgment enough not to get to hammer. Horrible play staying in there. Terrible. I was thinking, okay, well, I'll just click it, but he'll never stay in here. Now Manaphy just washes him. Mm, there are a couple ways we can go about this. So we're going to do... Um, we're going to eradicate and force that Hooper on bound and most likely, right? And we're gonna position the Quillfish King in a position of success. Oh, he knocked, which is blessed. This allows for me to go to, oh, did he, no, I'm faster than him. I was gonna say, did he like have another move to touch me? Okay, that's what I figured. Um, and so here, I'm in complete leverage. I'm slower and I can U-turn second. So, oh, uh, I don't know what Haunt was supposed to do there. 
But now, how do I want to go about this? Yeah, since I, based on how he plays, um, I don't think he'll know to switch out from the liquidation. Yeah, uh, he actually didn't. It took enough to where he can survive. Um, but he's also very weak to my. Um, what's his face? Ah, uh, dang the quillfish. I needed him to die on rocks. Hmm. These earth powers. That's fine. My issue is that I don't want to deal with the. Uh, I don't want to terrestrialize versus the um until the scissor dies. No, but from a position standpoint, I gotta go mana fee. U turns. Earth powers. I'm glad he did. Uh, he's a salt vest. This doesn't make sense otherwise. What do I want to do then? This is a salt vest. This makes no sense. I could tear a fairy, but. Um, I need his raging bolt gone. If he if he psychics, good play. Yeah, okay, it's definitely A V. Headlong rush forces in um, the Zamazenta. Actually, made a few mistakes in this. Zamazenta is not that big of a deal because of my Dragapult being so healthy. Uh, the Pelipper can smash um, a lot of his team. I wonder if it crunch. I need the rain, so I can't risk that. Crunch KO. He might not have crunch. Crunch KO. Body press. Draco Meteor would kill. I think. Okay, I'm not sure what he just did. Um, this shit does not get sucker punch. Not oh, that much. Oh, that's a crucial spit up drop. That mattered a lot. Heavy duty boots, raging bolt. Means dragon stab. Dragon move here. I want the Pelipper alive. What do I do? All oh, these things run Terra Fairy. So if it were the Terra Fairy. That's a great tusk, headlong rushes it. And then I'd be able to do Shadow Ball. I'd need what remaining. I'd need the ones I have. So Dragon Pulse is a headlong rush as he tear. Actually, I've seen a Terra flying one of these again. If it's Terra flying, I'm just gonna call it a day. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a fucking day. Because Ice Spinner would just not do enough to where I think Shadow Ball would kill it. Is that the object? I just don't trust how much Ice Spinner will do. And if he mindlessly scissors, exactly. If he mindlessly scissors, it would put me in a really awkward position. Um, bullet punch out, eat. Amazenta, he doesn't expect me to be Scarf, so that will get dropped. Mm-hmm. And now he Terra Fairies, right? But I've always seen 50%. Because if he Terra Fairied on the... Um, and now I take advantage of the... The, um, the Rain turn. Force him to Thunderclap. I, I guess I could have rested this turn. But I figured he wouldn't Thunderclap that turn. Yeah. I didn't think he'd Dragon Pulse, but I, I knew he wouldn't Thunderclap. So that, that was a sloppy game. I don't like how that played out, truth be told. I could have played that a lot cleaner. But uh, we, we, we learning, we learning. Um, really enjoying these games. It's gonna be our last one. Ideally rounding this out to the 1700. 
Um, the one issue is the decay. So me taking a day off will mean a lot of decay, but I'll figure it out. Because we're probably going to use this account when I stream too, and we'll likely stream in between the days that I don't record, so win-win. Um, Primarina must be a popular Pokemon, huh? Yeah, just a little from here. Uh, and I'm, I'm not using the team as best as I could. As I get my knowledge back, it'll be of easier flow because I'm not solving the I'm not solving the problems the best way that they could be solved. And I'm starting to notice that. I'm like, okay, well, we could have gone this route. But when you don't have the foresight, so I'm like, I'm not, it's like after the fact you realize, oh, that's why that was a better option. Then you have to apply it, usually through replay review into the next game. So for example, if I'm scanning this, and I said, okay, well, Dragapult, Shadow Ball, Rocks means almost a 2k on everything. Uh, if not a Oko. No ground immunity. So Scarf, Headlong Rusher is king with Rocks up. Tinkaton is helpful with these. Um, excuse me, Pelipper is great. Um, Primarina is my weakness. Um, in a case like this, since since I'm so prim weak naturally, and curum weak inherently, um, what I didn't want to deal with was a mindless treads lead. I think we saw that in this live. Um, I think the value of rain is more important than because I'm thinking about all of the, the possible downsides. And uh, I, I don't know what the fuck this is going to do, truth be told to you. Just going to go great to us. I'm not sure why he... No way this is Sash. Well, this thing gets sturdy, so maybe... Is he sturdy? No, he would be galvanized. So that's why I'm like, why would you lead with something that... Those are, these are the basics we're talking about. If you can't guard against something, you never put yourself in a position where you're getting dominated. So he has no ground immunity. So to uh, put yourself in a position where that wasn't, oh, that might've been AV because I'm fucking great Tusk. But now you just opened yourself up tremendously to the fee of the Manning, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this puts me at 590, Valiant is... Hold on, I'm whipping out the, I need to like remember these things. Alan's what, 364? Okay, my my the predator is faster, which is perfect. So I don't even need to go Tinkaton to risk anything. He's special, which would have meant Tinkaton would have just put him in the dirt. But why is it worth going for Gunk Shot? It is not. It's not worth going for Gunk Shot. Um, the guaranteed value is best. That wasn't a prediction. Um, very similar to the game versus Spooky it's assessing, and I'm just because I'm so out of the loop. I'm even re realizing my narration ability isn't as smooth as usual because I'm I usually be it's because of the, 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 my my brain is having a hard time keeping up with the reason for even doing these things and so I think that's interesting actually um, and at this point it's a matter of getting up do I you know the Tinkathon is useful these two um, so at this point. Uh, we get the potential sash broken because this is a quick little revenge kill. We actually flip turns, which is blessed. Um, because everything he can go into is at a disadvantage versus the king. And so rocks are going to be most valuable here, even if he stays in with the cure and does some wild thing, which is very improbable. Um, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, There's almost a 0% chance this thing is special. The reason I'm saying that is if I'm, I'm debating whether or not it's better to go Pult first or go Tusk first. Because if he spins and I go Pult, it's, it's a wash. But if I go Tusk and he spins, what the fuck is he going to do? What I'm thinking he could do is knock and then we trade. And the remainder should be... Uh, um track a pultable but i i think pult is a better option so it goes for for uh for, um we'll call it stealth rock which is interesting we would have gotten tusked 
Susked. Uh, is Surf useful? Not particularly. Um, it chooses to. Okay, heavy slam. That's fine. Okay, that's blessed. Especially if you go Samurai. So now with the rocks up, um, it's a wrap. But this was a positional win. Like, put hold, put yourself rule number one of the other war, right? Well, not rule number one, but this was one of the key principles that took my game to the next level back in my tournament day. Was that only hold positions, only only hold positions that cannot be. You only attack only attack positions that are tried. I didn't say only, but. Try to only attack positions that cannot be defended. No, here we go. There we go. I finally got it, guys. You can ensure success in your attack if you only attack places that cannot be defended. You can ensure success in your defense if you only hold positions that cannot be attacked. And that was like, remember, nobody knew about the art of war back in the day this was not a thing like this wasn't like i wouldn't say i introduced that to the, the youtube space but i was the biggest fucking like philosophy science mixture with mons geek of 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 the fucking community so like you know nobody was really talking about art of war art of war what are you talking about i want to encore here on the off chance he's sub oh freeze dry he is Something, but we just get on hammer and put him in the dirt. Did he ever tear? I don't think he ever tear. Damn, we got no points from that. Forgot this guy was 16 in general. I thought it was something. Like that. We're gonna leave it there. Hopefully, I enjoyed this marathon of a life. And I'll see you in the next one. Hit the like button. Art of War coming out soon for Pokemon players. Peace.